Part 2 of Mr. Putter and Tabby Pick the Pears. Zing. What I need, said Mr. Putter at last, is a good slingshot. Mr. Putter knew about slingshots. He had played with them as a boy. They were good for knocking cans off logs. So they must be good for knocking pears off trees. Tabby followed him into the house to make a slingshot. Mr. Putter found a pair of old underwear that he didn't like. He didn't like it because it was covered with poodles. His brother had given him the underwear for his birthday. His brother loved the underwear. He thought it was funny. Mr. Putter did not. So he cut up the underwear and got some very good elastic. Then he got an old glove. Then he got a stick and he made a slingshot. Mr. Putter and Tabby went back to the pear tree. Mr. Putter needed something hard and round to sling. Many of his apples had already fallen, so he picked up an apple. He put the apple in the slingshot. He aimed at a pear in the tree and pulled back as hard as he could. Zing! The hard round apple went flying up, 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 over Mr. Putter's pear tree, over Mr. Putter's apple tree, over Mr. Putter's chimney, over Mr. Putter's house. Mr. Putter and Tabby watched as it flew out of sight. Hmm, said Mr. Putter. He picked up another apple. Zing! Up, up, up! Over, over, over! Out of sight! Wow! said Mr. Putter. He was smiling. He might have cranky legs, but he sure had jiffy hands. He picked up another apple. Zing! Another apple. Zing! Another! Zing! He forgot all about the pears. Tubby liked the first zings, but by the seventh zing, she began to yawn. By the tenth zing, she began to nod. And by the fourteenth zing, she was sound asleep. Mr. Putter played with his slingshot all afternoon. He played through tea time. He played through supper time. He played until dark when he couldn't see the apples go up anymore. When he was finished, he had no apples and no pear jelly. He was a little embarrassed. He picked up Tabby and sneaked inside. Juicy Days The next afternoon, Mr. Putter and Tabby were sitting on their porch. They were feeling sorry for themselves because they still had no pear jelly. Suddenly, Mr. Putter's neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry, and her good dog, Zeke, came by. Mrs. Teaberry was carrying a big basket, a very big basket. She said to Mr. Putter, It is so amazing. When I woke up this morning, there were dozens of apples in my front yard. And I don't even have an apple tree. Mr. Putter looked at Tabby. Amazing, he said. So I made an apple feast, said Mrs. Teaberry. In the basket, she had 14 apple turnovers, 5 apple pies, 6 apple jellies, and a gallon of hot apple cider with cinnamon sticks. Mr. Putter and Tabby ate juicy things for days and days. And when he was finished with the last apple pie, Mr. Putter had an idea about those pears still on his pear tree. He would wait for them all to fall off. And 
then he would get his slingshot and start zinging.